Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you're new to the channel, my name's William and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. So make sure to stick around and uh, wow, we're bound to be getting up to something. But uh, currently we're in the mangroves and we've got the mullet net. So we're just trying to get some bait, try and get some mullet and then we're actually gonna head over the bar and um, try and pick up a big snapper. Might go for a dive too, I've got my diving gear, got all the gear, got soft bait, free runner, everything. So it's pretty much a five knot day all day. We've got heaps of gas, and wow. Let's see if we can't have a bust up. All right, let's get into it. All right, we'll try and um, have no bust ups while doing this because when this ends in a bust up, it's a proper bust up. So we just gotta be fingers crossed that we don't have a proper one. I'll just get nice and slow. Fingers. Right, where are these mullet? It's looking very slow. Right, so we've got the net set, but the water's pretty clear. And I found when the water's clear, then um, the mullet are a little bit shy. So we might just have go for another little look up the creek. It is high tide, so uh, well, we should get up there without hitting in the sandbanks. You guys will definitely know if we do, because that's uh, quite a common occurrence on... Actually, I haven't hit a sandback on YouTube yet, but it is a very common occurrence. So we might go for a little blat up there and have a look. And then, uh, well, I'll come back and see what happens. And then if there's nothing, then we'll just pull the net in and uh, go and try another spot. Because we have got a little bit of bait, but we definitely want some more. Right, so we've come all the way up the creek, which is uh, it's not too far from where we set the mullet net, and look how clear it is. Honestly, we need to find some dirty water, and we're not going to find it at the entrance. So, well, I don't know how this mullet mission is going to go, but like I say, Wild North Productions full of bust ups and no plans, so this could be a bust up. We don't get any mullet. We've still got. We do have a little bit of bait. Oh, it actually looks like heaps, but there's only like four mullet in there. A bit of burley and like a bag of pillies. So I mean, if we don't get any mullet, it's not a huge deal. But we want fresh bait. So we'll give this a little bit, we'll, we'll see what happens. Otherwise we'll just shoot over the bar and go catch something big, go for a dive. Listen to how quiet it is, eh? There is no wind. I should have really just gone straight out the bar. It's such a nice day, but I love mulleting. Not today, because there's no mullet. That's right, we'll do this. And then we might, might see some mullet jumping on the way back or something. On the way out to the entrance. Then we can uh, buff the net in there, but if not, we'll just head straight out and go and, get, go and do something. Because at the moment, this is just uh, wasting time. But like I say, make a good plan with YouTube, because this could have been epic if we got heaps of mullet. But it obviously just, it's not a very mullety day. That was a failed Wild North Addiction segment. 
Alright, so on the way back Alright, so I'm at the entrance and the whole way back from the creek I seen one mullet that was, uh, wasn't even jumping, it was just cruising around on the sandbank But uh, we've just actually dropped the mullet net off on a little beach Just up here Just so I don't have to fish with the dog in the boat And now, uh, well, we're going to go head over the bar Go and have a look at the bar first and see what it's like and then um, see if we make it. Now we will. Right, how cool is that? That's the uh, first bar crossing for Free Willis. And uh, I'm pretty bloody happy about that. That was straight out and uh, no problems, no waves stood up in front of us, so uh, she was all good. But now I'm just trying to make a plan whether I go for a dive first or go for a big straight line session first. Now I am quite uh, scared of sharks underwater, even though I've never seen one yet. And this is the place for the G-rate white sharks, which is scary. But this looks quite good for diving, and it's um, it's high tide slack, slack high tide now. So I'm just sort of thinking I should probably go for a dive first, have a little look around, and then uh, wait for that current to start picking up, and then go for. A, big old stray lining mush but how cool does this look pretty sick bit of coast along here pretty cool right looks like we could be on for a dive here I think I'm gonna go for a dive first since that um, current is slack now high tide and uh, I think we found a pretty good looking spot just sort of tucked away out of the swell and well we're just gonna jump in see what happens you guys know that I'm not much of a diver but I'm sure we're gonna be able to find something even if it's not a cray we'll just get some kindness for a bit of burly or just mainly to explore never actually dove here before so I'll chuck this wetsuit on and I'll see you in the water God damn it! There's a crayfish there. Well, I just uh, missed him. There's only a little fella anyway. Anyway, but still would have been nice to get one. Could have been just legal. That's it. Right, I've just seen a seal. There's a seal just over here, and I do not want to be getting close to that dog. Seals mean sharks. And stuff that. Right, we'll go back this way.
another seal. Ah, oh, stuff this shit. He's only a real little one. So we'll uh Ah oh, shit. There's the seal. Oh no. I'm not liking this. Anyway, crayfish is going home. Ah oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Get those seals. All right, guys, it's raining, and we've just pulled into a new spot, and uh, it is clear. And no, I've never been here before, but it's raining, so we, it's probably better to get in the water than try and fish in it. So. Let's go. Got myself a couple of new fishing rods. Hell yeah. Chuck these bad boys on. Uh. Shit yeah. How good. It's a little bit slow at that spot. Just um you guys know that I can't dive very deep, so I just, I don't even dive, I just snork around, just have a look, see what I can find. And I found these bad boys. Check them out. They're no Daiwa. If they, if they were Daiwa, they would have been still sweet as. But unfortunately, they are Shimano's. But one of the rods, Maybe, just still got a few of the eyes. Maybe in the next video, I should put a good reel on that, not a Shimano. And then, um, if I can unseize it, maybe I should try and catch a fish on it, which I definitely will. All it needs is a reel, it'll be fine. That'll be the far north jobby. So that's all I found, didn't see any craze, didn't even really see any kinna. Seen a few of those, um, uh, what are they called? Something. A few heavy heavies and that's about it. But uh, it's not raining now, so we might go and set a big burly. And we'll have to see what comes in. 
hopefully a big snapper. I'm keen to catch a big one. I haven't caught one for a little while. So, might as well make the most of the day. Right, we've just pulled into a little posse here and we've sort of got a little bit of current sort of a little bit it's um it's going out the back it is slowly we've actually made it to the top of New Zealand we're at North Cape and you would have thought there would have been some current here it probably is right on the point but nah we're not we're not that's the soft baiting spot but yeah you can see here that the um the burley's going out the back so i've just tied a little just a little hook on for now there's actually a sinker on there i just took that sinker off and uh, i'm just going to chuck a little bit of mullet on there or a little bit of something whatever we got in here Maybe this thing, what is this? Oh my god, look how old that thing looks. We'll chuck that on and see what happens. Half of it. Alright, we might just chuck the tail on actually for a start. Buck knife, mean bait knife, big dog. Alright, there's quite a small hook for this bit of bait but should be fine BKK circle hook you guys already know that's a nice looking bait isn't it let's try and hit that dog out there imagine that first first bait 20 pounder yeah boy Oh, it's not a snapper, it's a car wire. God damn it. But I'm eating that. That is my lunch right there. Oh, look, and the hook just fell out. Right there, here's my lunch. I'm, uh, I've got some coat and cook, actually, so I've gone a little bit flash this time. And um, got a new wok for the cob, and bought some oil this time, like you guys have been saying. And um, he's going to be going straight in there, because I'm starving at the moment. Didn't bring any food, thought fishing was going to be on, but it's the total opposite. I'm just going to bleed this guy. Done. Wait a couple minutes for that to bleed out, then we'll uh, start getting ready for feed. Right, I just actually casted this one and it ended on a bird's nest. And then on the drop, the uh, while the bait was sinking, this fish just picked it up and it was nearly a bust up. If it was a big fish, it definitely would have been. I don't even know what this fish is doing. It doesn't feel that big. Oh yeah, it's a beauty eater. That is an awesome fish. I might, um, I'm going to let this one go. First fish. First snapper. Let it go. Spade had been out here for a little while, but I'm trying not to have a bust up with this other line, which it looks like there could quite well be. Hey, that's not a bad snapper. Not a bad snapper at all. Check that out. We might have to keep this guy. He got um, gut hooked. Oh, that's mean. Choice. That's on. Nice snapper. You know who we you know where he's going? He's going straight in the cob. 
right now. Lunch, right now. It's only the second snapper for the trip. It's very bad fishing. I think it's like one of those days that it's too flat. But we've got the cob, so we might as well have a feed. And we might just go for a soft bait later. But we're picking up a few of these, which is all right. Heaps of bites, so. Well, we might just stay here. We never know what's gonna happen. But let's have a feed, I'm starving. So we just got the cob in the uh, old chili bin. Right in here. Easy as, just chuck the dog in, chuck the dog out. Here's this new wok that I'm talking about. It's pretty sick, it's a bit dirty. But we're gonna put some oil in there. Got some coach and cook, whatever that stuff is. And then um, chuck it in some oil. That sounds like the plan. So that just goes down there like that. Bang, screw this dog in. Look at it, it's still sandy from last time. Screw that joke on. Bangus. And then I think you just chuck this on here. And then we'll get it going. And then you just have a little look under have a little look under here. No, not going. Now it is. Done. What the hell's going on here? Oh. oh quite a bit of oil. That'll do. But to keep going. He's not too happy. I actually do Yeah, boy. Right, going back to Tangaroa. You guys already know. Back to Tangaroa. Thank you for your feed. Now I think what's going on here with this kitchen, with this cook and coach stuff, is oh, we're just going to rip the box open first. And I'm guessing you just chuck that in there, like so. I don't make you put in about that. And then we'll just cut this up to little bits. Chuck that in there. And then maybe we put the lid on, just chuck it on like that. Oh hell yeah. I like the look of this. Got the oil here. Yeah, it's not that hot yet. Oh that is beauty, look at that. Oh my god. I'll chuck a bit more in. No more breadcrumb and egg and flour making a bust up on the boat. It's just straight this now. Coat and cook. Look at that, no mess. Oh my god. This is done. God, that looks so mean. Look at it. I'm really liking this wok. I think that's what they call it from Bob. Just chuck it on and do everything in it. Look at that fish is just falling apart. Yeah, boy. So good, eh? Oh my god. Right, I think the plan is this has just turned into a disaster of a day. 
Oh, we're in for a little dive. That was quite cool. Just a bit of a snorkel around. And this straight line session has gone to absolute haywire. So, we've got the soft bait, Rob. And we might just go and hit the cape. There's some big fish there, so let's just go and. No, let's just go to where. I know there's big fish. Well, there's big fish everywhere, but. Caught a few 20s up here. So, we might as well just go there and have a few casts, see what's going on. And then make our way back to to the bar. Hopefully we get in. We will get in. But yeah, we need to start catching some fish because it has been crappy. So bad. Just can't find any current. That's a problem. No current for a good straight line session. Doesn't really work. But, hey, that's fishing. But, hey, that's fishing. Can't always win. But we're going to be winning after this. Big snapper. Even the car wise like the old code and cook. Look at all the dogs. Right, we've just come around North Cape. That's North Cape right there. Top of New Zealand. Right there. And we've got the motor oil Z-Man. A very brand new ocean angler rod and a very brand new Darwa surtape. And we've got heaps of marks here, so we should be on. Let's have a cast. I got a mate just over here, just around the cape there, Muzza. He's uh, part of the Darwa crew now, which is sick. Also got a YouTube channel too, um, Mazza Murray Wooten, Wooten, however you say it. Go and check him out. I'll put his um, I'll put his Instagram in my just up here somewhere. Got him. First fish for the uh, new setup. Not too bad, not bad. I approve. So smooth. Right, look at this little ass dog. Well, do can uh. I've already had my dinner, so, well, my lunch, so, he's going home. There we go, he's gone, on the old motor oil, get the dog. Alright, it's good for another go. Just ask me where a big snapper was, I would say right in there. But obviously, maybe not. Just come out to like 20 meters to try and, 25 meters to try and find some fish because honestly, I've been struggling all day. And well, we've got something on here. 
Might be a snapper, but it doesn't really feel like one. What is this dog? Oh no, it is a snap. Oh man. It is a nice snapper. It's only just hooked. I snap. We've uh I've got some requests from some local boys where I launched this morning. And um T Harpua. So this will be going straight to them. Mean. I've just got this new setup. It's a uh, ocean angler bender and uh Dial assaultist. And I've just dropped down a fish finger and we've got a pink dog. Look at this bloody thing. Pig fish. That's uh I don't know to call I don't know if to call that uh good or bad. I know they are bloody nice but we're gonna let this little guy go. Right, that was straight on when I dropped this thing down. See if we can do that again. So we've uh, just come through the Pairanga bar. It's, um, Pretty mean. First time doing it by myself. Well, first time me actually doing it. And um, now nah, it's pretty stoked. Pretty mean. First for everything. But um, I'm at the barge. I'm at the wreck. So some of you guys will know that a boat sank here when it was quite rough. Very rough actually. <coughs> And now it's just become a big old wreck. But thought I'd come check it out, it's pretty cool. I have actually been here once before. And um, yeah, you got a few trevally. I'm quite tempted to just throw the burly out. Quite tempted. Pretty mean though. The old pirating a wreck. Stay there, Free Willis. Stay there. <laughs> Your beauty. And it's still there, and we can have a shit if we want. <laughs> There's the bar just out there. It's where we come through. Mean. Maybe it's time to go get some mullet. Pretty cool place. Pretty special. Heavy old mullet net. Got the dog. Right, first bar crossing and first uh, bar coming back in, whatever you call that. So, pretty happy about that, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to do it out of the 414 Innovision Tiller. Do it on a tiller steer boat by myself at 18. It's pretty bloody cool. But, um, fishing was slow, man. God, fishing was so slow. But we had a bit of a feed. It was all good, good day, glamour conditions, and um, yeah, we're back in the harbour now, back in Pairingaranga, and we're just going to head back to the boat ramp, and get this boat back on the trailer, and then head back down to Haigora. So, cheers guys, thanks very much for watching, stay tuned for the next episode. That up there means rain oh no bus stops